Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Salam sejahtera dan salam satu Malaysia So Saya diberi teks untuk baca kan <laughs> So saya kena baca <laughs> Sebab menteri punya teks kan So kena baca So my presentation will be In English Lepas tu macam campur lah Macam kita kat Malaysia banyak orang suka makan rojak kan So kita rojak sikit lah benda ni ya So first and foremost, I would like to convey sincere thanks from the Honourable Datuk Seri Dr. Haji Wan Junyadi bin Tuan Kut Jaffar, Minister of Natural Resources and Environment, to the organizers for the invitation to deliver a speech at the second National Protected Area Managers Conference. Uh, the Honourable Minister is unable to be uh, with us this morning uh, and currently Uh, he's attending the high level segment of the 17th meeting of the conference of the parties to convention on international trade in endangered species of wildlife fauna and flora cities uh, the Johannesburg uh, South Africa uh, dan dia dan dia memohon maaf kepada organizer dan uh, I'm honored today to deliver his speech on his behalf so dia berada di sana lebih kurang saya ingat 4 5 hari hari ni saya ingat dia dia on way back To, to, to Kuala Lumpur lah. So banyak perkara yang bincang di COP Society Johannesburg Kalau untuk maklumat tuan-tuan Society ni dah lebih kepada trade lah Trade uh, Perdagangan uh, hidupan dia lah Di sana banyak benda yang, yang, yang dibincangkan ya So very good morning to everyone Selamat datang and a warm welcome to the second National Protected Area Managers Conference in Penang Island I would like to take this opportunity to express my uh, appreciation to Jabatan Peritan and the PA financing project, financing project for the invitation to officiate the second National Protected Area Managers Conference today. So this is the second time such an event is being held as a platform to bring together the managers of protected areas in Malaysia to interact freely and learn together. So yang pertama dulu, kita dah buat di Kuala Tahan dalam tahun 2014. So yang kedua ni kita buat di di Pulau Pinang. Uh, we are very we are very pleased to receive tremendous participation and support from all the PA agencies for this event. So terima kasih jugalah pada community yang 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 hadir pada pada uh, conference ni. Uh, bagi saya selain daripada kita semua yang menguruskan PA, local community juga penting lah. Sebab tanpa local community pun kita tak boleh buat apa sebenarnya. So, dia orang yang on the ground punya orang yang kita kena kena ada kerja kerjasama. Uh, I'm pleased to note that the focus of the conference this year is and uh, this year is on innovation in managing protected areas and emphasis is placed on the use of technology as well as community participation. Since this conference is about protected areas, it is therefore appropriate that this conference is being held near the only national park in the state, Penang National Park in Teluk Bahang, and I understand that there will be a site visit to this park as well as to a local community project as part of this conference. I was made to understand that several keynote addresses related to protected areas will be presented at this conference by local and international speakers, and I am delighted to acknowledge that we have a growing number of Malaysians who are experienced in protected areas management and and I hope to see more in the future so that uh, we can develop the expertise within Malaysia and move forward as world-class managed protected areas in this, in this country. Adrian dan Hadrat Sekalian, when one asks any Malaysian or foreign visitors what would represent Malaysia's natural beauty, So very often the icons mentioned are Taman Negara National Park, Mulu National Park and Kinabalu Park. These are all protected areas that are our treasures and I applaud the protected areas managers dedication and commitment in working in such remote landscapes to conserve our biodiversity resources within these parks. As we know, protected areas in Malaysia come in, in many sizes that are either terrestrial or marine. Some of these protected areas are located at the international borders adjoining Thailand, Indonesia, Brunei Darussalam or the Philippines. 
and I'm proud to note that some have received international recognition such as ASEAN Heritage Park, Ramsar Wetlands of International Importance and UNESCO World Heritage Sites. Hadirin dan hadirat sekalian, the Ministry of National Resources and Environment Malaysia has launched the latest National Policy on Biological Diversity 2016-2025 in which there are goals and targets specifically outlined applicable to protected areas. Natural resources such as protected areas are considered natural capital of the country and therefore the role of the protected areas managers has become more complex and challenging. Managing protected areas has gone beyond conserving wild fauna and flora and as sites for the relocation of wildlife affected by human wildlife conflict. Protected areas managers need to engage with new tools, ideas and approaches that are being used to tackle contemporary management scenarios. Although protected areas managers' duties are mainly confined to within the borders of the park, the impact and benefits goes beyond these borders. Often, the local community can be seen actively engaged in ecotourism activities that contributes to conservation of the resources while generating a sustainable source of income for themselves. They also have a vital role as the eyes and ears of the managing authority to ensure the integrity of the resources are maintained. The importance of public participation and local community engagement in protected areas management is becoming more evident these days, and I hope all managers and policymakers will take note of this as it is also outlined in the National Policy on Biological Diversity 2016-2025. Protected area managers have to be in the forefront of managing and protecting the multiple benefits of conserving protected areas. The protected areas that you manage for the country are also the source for clean drinking water, depository of carbon, help prevent disasters like floods and landslides, ensures food security by preserving wild genetic diversity, improve people's health by providing resources of medicine and clean air, attracts thousands of visitors near and far every year, thus contributing to the fast-growing ecotourism market of Malaysia. So, banyaklah kerja-kerja yang kita nak kena buat ya, untuk managers ni. Selain daripada benda disebutkan juga, Masuklah juga um, resources dalam PA itu sendiri uh, sebab khazanah khazanah negara terletak khazanah khazanah alam semula jadi uh, mostly located in our protected areas. So kalau di Semenanjung ni, kami uh, taman negara uh, banyaklah orang daripada luar negara datang untuk mengambil keluar khazanah negara lah. For example, gharu and other wildlife species. So hadirin dan hadirin dan hadirat sekalian, on the 5th June last year, one of our premier protected areas was struck by a natural disaster which shocked the entire nation. Kinabalu National Park was hit by a 6.0 magnitude earthquake in the early morning with about 160 people stranded in the, at the peak. In view of such a tragic event which has caused much damage and some loss of lives, I would like to show my highest respect and appreciation today to the protected areas personnel and guides of Kinabalu National Park who demonstrated true heroism in handling the disaster. We have much to learn from the experience handling un un unexpected situations and I'm pleased to hear that we will be hearing from Sabah Parks today. So nanti kita boleh dengarlah macam mana dia punya experience menyelamatkan uh, apa orang yang terpangkap di gunung sana tu. This would also be the appropriate forum to applaud and congratulate Sabah for their success in gazetting the Tun Mustafa Marine Park this year, the largest protected area in Malaysia covering an area about 900,000 hectares in northern Sabah. Tanyalah. The efforts of all parties to get this critical marine area protected is much appreciated, appreciated by all of us. Shabas and Tanya to you all. 
I'm also pleased to hear that Sarawak government targets to have 1.5 million hectares of protected areas gazetted in the state. We look forward to seeing this becoming a reality. I'm sure with the continued engagements of the protected areas managers and the stakeholders with the state authorities, more vulnerable habitats can be protected in the near future. The increase in terrestrial and marine protected areas will contribute towards achieving the IT biodiversity targets for Malaysia as well as Malaysia's commitment under the Convention on Biological Diversity, CBD. Adrin eh? Dahan Ratskian, the designation and gazettement of protected areas does not guarantee that the objectives of these parks will be achieved. The Ministry will continue to engage the relevant authorities and state governments to ensure protected areas are actively managed with rangers patrolling the boundaries and the interiors. The Ministry realizes that there is inadequate staffing for many of our protected areas and therefore has embarked on a collaborative program with the Army under the National Blue Ocean Strategy and BOSS to undertake strategic patrolling in community encroachers and poachers. The One Malaysia Biodiversity Enforcement Operation Network, One and Beyond, uh, uh, has been effectively implemented in Taman Negara, on the Rompin, and Royal Bloom, and will potentially be implemented in other protected areas across the, the country. So, yang ini kita bermula tahun 2014 itu lagi. Cuma baru-baru uh, ni ada insiden uh, one of uh, my staff dia kena parang dengan uh, poachers dalam taman negara. Tapi hidup lah. Hidup. Cuma tangan dia cedera parah, gigi empat batang patah. So pada hari ni dia dah masuk kerja balik. Uh, tapi tangan sebelah kanan dia ni uh, lemah sikit lah. Sebab urat, urat besar putus kan. So bila uh, yeah, poachers from neighboring countries tu bantai dengan parang dia cuma tahan macam ni yang kena sini, kena sini. Gambar dia sangat mengerikan. <tapi>, Tapi dia okey. Dah jahit, jahit semua okey. Cuma dia kena, sekarang ni pakai gigi pasu lah. So, uh, kita kena lebih berhati-hati lah. Uh, sebab, yang turun from, let's say from Uh, Vietnam ke from Cambodia ni, dia orang ni memang uh, apa tu, hati kering je lah. Uh, so, dari segi kita di sini kena bersiap sedia lah dari apa apa jua cara sekalipun. So, realizing the crucial need for protecting viable habitats, the ministry has been pursuing the Central Forest Mine and the Heart of Borneo, HOB, initiative for Peninsula Malaysia and East Malaysia to ensure critical protected areas are interconnected. Therefore, I call upon protected area managers to take note of this and incorporate this national initiative into their respective protected areas. To address the need for training for protected areas personnel on the complex task of managing protected areas, Britain, with the support of the PA financing project, has developed a course called the Effective Protected Areas Managers Course. Uh, this is a six-week comprehensive training program aim at mid-level managers of protected areas covering the various subject matters and skills needed to fulfill their roles effectively. I understand that this course was developed together with experts from three local universities and its model on the inter international short courses offered by the Smithsonian Institution, US and Wildlife Institute of India. The first course was successfully held in October last year with 14 participants from agencies managing PAs around the country. And right now, the second course is underway at the Institute of Biodiversity in Pahang, not far from Kuala Ganda, with 17 participants from eight PA agencies. Gentlemen, ladies, distinguished guests, since many state governments and agencies are now involved in protected areas management. The Ministry of Natural Resources and Environment supports the effort to develop a national protected areas framework, a task being undertaken by the PA financing project. I request that you actively participate in the preparation of this framework so that it can be effectively implemented towards improving and harmonizing the standard of PAs in our country. 
We know that many of the issues facing PA managers are similar and we hope that this forum will provide some workable solutions and highlight some new approaches and ways of thinking towards improving the way our protected areas are managed. I hope this conference will also come up with some recommendation for the Ministry to follow up uh, on as we strive to meet national and international commitments for protected areas in Malaysia. Jadi, uh, untuk ini, uh, saya berharap uh, kerjasama uh, kena ditingkatkan. Uh, we no more can work in silo uh, sebab kita tak boleh shock sendiri. So, kalau kita work together, then kita tahu kita punya benchmark tu di mana. Kalau tidak, ni kata dia bagus, ni kata dia bagus. Tapi bila kita check against international, serupanya dia dia under par. Uh, jadi saya rasa uh, dengan adanya kita semua di sini, uh, kita dapatlah uh, mengeluarkan experience. Dan ada kat sini ni pun, uh, kawan-kawan lama saya pun ramai di sini. Sini-sini saya masa universiti pun pun ada di 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 di, di, di sini. So, biasalah kan. So, saya ingat uh, kita boleh cakap terus terang lah dalam kita punya during our apa tu discussion tu benda nanti. So once once again, I would like to extend a warmest welcome to you all, and I was informed uh, that there are about 21 people uh, here re representing local communities from protected areas all over the country present with us today. Uh, they have been spe uh, specially invited to attend this conference because the focus of this conference is innovation and local community involvement. And I hope each one of you will find this conference beneficial and enjoyable at the same time. Um, I will end this address by according my deepest appreciation to the organizing team for this event. To all who have assisted and to all of you who have made the effort to be present today. And I wish all of you a fruitful deliberation for the next three days. So on this note, it gives me a great pleasure now, pleasure now to officially declare open the second National Protected Area Managers Conference. Sekian terima kasih. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.